I welcome you all with Islamic greeting. As salamu alaikum. Which means, may peach be upon you. This is XLFC. Microsoft Excel Fan Club. What was in last video? 1. How ribbon display options works. 2. How to auto hide commands. 3. How to auto hide ribbons. 4. How to hide and unhide the commands using mouse clicks. 5. Hiding and unhiding the commands by using the keyboard shortcuts. Link of previous video. You can follow the link on your screen to see what was in last video at youtube.com. Commands. Commands in Excel ribbons are nothing but links that start the sequence of code to carry out specific task or tasks. In each ribbon there are huge quantity of commands, which are nicely arranged by Excel developers to facilitate their end user working experience. There are mainly five type of commands. 1. Standalone commands. 2. Commands with slice drop down list. 3. Commands with toggle functionality. 4. Commands with drop list. 5. Commands with special characteristics. 1. Standalone commands. This type of command executes its task directly when it is pressed. An example of this command is the cut command in the home ribbon from the leftmost side of the home ribbon. In order to use it, you have to click on it and the command will be executed as soon as you press on the command. To understand this type of command, let's enter some data in cell number E10. I hope you guys can remember how to go to cell number E10 by using the address bar or name box of Excel. Those who don't know about it, you can see my previous video at youtube.com by following the link on your screen. Type E10 in the address bar and press the enter, Excel will take you to the E10 cell. Now type in your name, I am going to type my name. Mukib al Husan and hit enter. Now selecting the cell E10 click on the command that has scissors in it. The command will do a task as soon as you press it, the command will cut your data. You will see blinking border, or, so called marching ants. In the edge of E10 cell proving that cut command has been executed. To paste your data, select cell D5, then select the paste command from the command area, click in the top portion of paste. Here cut is a standalone command, but the paste goes to category 2. 2. Commands with slice drop down list. This type of commands have a main command button along with a drop-down list with it which is mentioned by little drop-down arrow. I hope you can see the little guy beside the copy command. For an example of a paste and copy command which is beside the cut command in the home tab. The paste command has a drop-down list in the bottom of the command. When you click on the main portion of the command its task is executed. When you will, click on the drop-down portion of the command. An additional list appears with some extra commands. You have to click on those commands to get them executed. 3. Commands with toggle functionality. This is a special type of commands. If you click on this command the task will be executed and if you click on it again the previously applied task will be undone. The bold and italic commands from this type. To try this type of command let's select cell D5 which is containing my name. Now press on the command the bold that contains B on it. It will make your name bold. If you click on the command, it will unbold your name. 4. Commands with drop list. This type of commands have only drop list in them. When you click on them an additional drop list comes down with some more functionality. To find out this type of commands you will have to look at the home ribbon then go to middle right position. Here you will find a command titled with conditional formatting. Okay. These are not actually a command. You can think it like a gateway to access more commands. If you click on this, you will find more additional commands in the drop down list. 5. Commands with special characteristics. This type of commands has a special type of task assigned to them. First they pick up something from somewhere and apply it in other place. 
An example of this command is Formate Painter. To understand the task of Formate Painter, let's select cell F5 and type name in it, and apply some basic formatting in that. After typing name hit enter. Select F5 cell first, now apply some formatting in it. Click on the bold command, apply cell background color from the fill color command. I am going to select green by using the drop down list right side of the fill color command, as fill color, or cell background color, and apply your desired text color form font color command. I prefer red color in this case so I can choice red by clicking the drop down list. Now that, formatting has been applied in cell F5, selecting the cell, click on the format painter command then, select cell D5 to apply the same formatting in that cell. Now the big question is what Excel did here, ok, Excel made copy of formatting only, form cell number F5 and applied it in cell number D5, that's all. Extend the column F to see its content clearly. If you don't understand the functions of these commands don't worry as you will follow along with this course you will understand them very well. Command Group In Excel, commands are arranged in very good manner. Similar type of commands are arranged in groups. They are called Command Groups. Each group has its name. Previously we talked about Cut, Copy paste and format painter. All these commands together make a command group called clipboard, which is located leftmost corner in the home ribbon. Command groups are separated by slicers. Slicers are nothing but visual effects that is placed in between the command groups so that you can differentiate from one group to other. Dialog launcher, or command group dialog launcher, these are launchers for command groups. You can click on it to launch command window or dialog box with additional commands that are not normally visible from the default ribbon of Microsoft Excel. I hope you can see the little angle shape and arrow sign. This is the dialog launcher. An example of the dialog launcher is in the font group of the home ribbon. This is a special dialog launcher in Excel which is widely used. And it has a keyboard shortcut assigned to it. Control plus one. You can launch the dialog box by clicking on the launcher icon using your mouse or you can use the keyboard shortcut, Ctrl plus 1, to launch the dialog box. Did you notice I speak of a thing earlier, default ribbon? Many of you may know, and the others may think what is it? Well, let's talk a bit about it. After installation of Office program, the ribbons you get without making any changes to them, are called default ribbon. Actually you can't change the default ribbon normally, however you can make your own ribbon with your chosen commands. We will discuss about it later. Dialog box, dialog boxes are small window which appears when you click any dialog launcher. Do you guys remember we clicked the dialog launcher at the font command group in the home ribbon. After clicking the dialog launcher a small window appeared from nowhere which name is Format Cells. This small window is called Dialog Box. It is the only one dialog box that actually two keyboard shortcut assigned to it. Control plus 1, which we have used earlier, and, Control plus Shift plus F. You can use both of these keyboard shortcuts to launch this dialog box. A dialog box may contain multiple tabs on them like, Number, Alignment, Font, border, fill and protection, or a dialog box may have no tabs on them at all. An example of this type of dialog box is the dialog box form the data ribbon in rightmost command group outline. Click the dialog launcher it will launch a box name settings, don't mess up with dialog launcher and dialog box. Dialog launcher is a command that brings out the dialog box, as result. Go ahead and try them by your own to see what can be done by them. We will see how they work and what can be done by them in our future videos. Before I finish this video I will like to say you, not to memorize all the classifications, different person may classify them differently. But I do recommend you to understand them well, when you will understand them, you will be able to use them efficiently.
What we have learned in this video, 1. Command. 2. Type of commands. 3. Command group. 4. Dialog launcher. 5. Special dialog launcher and a keyboard shortcut to access this dialog launcher. 6. Dialog box and their types. Keyboard shortcuts used in this video. Control plus 1. Opens format cell dialog box, or, Control plus Shift plus F. Opens format cell dialog box. That's all for today. Thank you for being with XLFC. If you like this video and this video comes to any help of yours, don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel, XLFC. For getting more videos on Microsoft Excel. You might like to visit my blog at xlfc.blogspot.com or xlfc.wordpress.com.